Hi, friends. Welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. And look who's here. Holy, 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 holy cow. It's a good day. It sure is a good day because just in a few days, tomorrow, in fact, you get to go back to school. Thank you, school. yee and, and what do you take at school? Anything that ain't nailed down. Now, holy cow, I don't think that's the best behavior to have. Are you a good boy at school? Oh, sure is. It's hard to get in trouble when you have to sit in the corner all day long. Wow, that's not a good idea. But hey, are, are you all ready for school? Do you have all your school supplies? Do you have your crayons and your paper and um, uh, skizzers? Hey, I got my skeezers. And, and what else might you need? Oh, I got to get me some pencils. Well, you know what? When I think about a pencil, I think that's an important thing to have. Oh, yeah, I think so, because teacher always wants to make sure I got one. Yes, but you know what? I think a pencil can remind us of our relationship with Jesus. Hey, Mr. Kevin, you so right, you're wrong, because you son. Well, uh, I think she calls me that for more reasons than other things. But think about the pencil for a minute. One, look at that. It's sharp. Well, my teacher wants me to make sure I sharpen my pencil before we start doing our work. Well, that's a good idea because a sharp point will be able to make you get your work done. But the Bible tells us that we need to stay sharp. Well, I ain't gonna stick my head in a pencil sharpener. No, 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 we don't stick our head in a pencil sharpener, but we stick our head into the God's word so we can, as it says in 1 Peter 5, 8, be alert, be sharp, because our adversary, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion looking for who he may devour. Who ain't gonna get me easy. I think you might be a little tough, but hey, we got to stay sharp. And to stay sharp, we need to read God's word. Another thing that pencils have is this thing on the end, an eraser. Because when I make a mistake, I want to make it decent here. Kind of like when I ate all my sister candy. I was trying to make it decent here, and I wanted her not to see that I ate it, but I had chocolate on my face. Well, I don't think that's going to make it disappear. But less, what about our sin? Jesus says if we confess our sins, the Bible says if we confess our sins, that God is faithful and he was just, and he will remove all of our sin. So an eraser make, wipes out our mistakes. God will erase our mistakes if we will confess them. Well, that's good news. Hey, you know what? That tent's laid out of wood, and wood comes from trees. And if we'll take and learn God's word and renew a night on it, you know, chew it up a whole bunch of times, then we're going to be like a tree painted by streams of living water, and our leaves will not wither. Wow, that's pretty good. I think you're actually learning something. I learned it from you because I hang out with you, Mr. Kevin. Well, that's true. You do hang out with me a lot, and I'm glad that you're my friend. And I'm glad that they are my friend. Me too. Y'all have a good day at school tomorrow. And if you don't go to school, well, you might be in trouble or you just outgrew it. But learn what you can and share what you can and be a friend to everyone. Well, that's good advice. Now, holy cow. I think it's that time for you to say goodbye, holy cow. Goodbye, holy cow. You all take care of dust your hair and rush your teeth. You only got to rush your one, you want to keep. I'll see you. Don't want to be you. Bye-bye.